Hello, people. How are you? It's me. I'm back. Yeah, my hair is all over my head because I'm letting it grow out a little on the top. And then I'm going to be clipping the sides short because we're coming towards summer again. So, you know, hot weather, keep it short. Anyway, how's it going? I've been trying to do this one particular palette for heaven help me this will be the third attempt three and that's because for some reason the first two attempts both corrupted now I don't know if it's the new removable drive that I saved it to that is the problem I don't know um, the other stuff that's on it, which is all of January, is just fine. It is. It's just fine. So, I don't know. Anyway, while I'm working on this, I've gotten some other stuff recently that I'm going to be showing you. Now, you've seen the Elf Putty Primer. However, I just found this nifty brush that they came in. Yes, I'm going to keep checking over here to make sure I'm in frame. Nifty brush that I just picked up to go with it. It's an elf product, but it's made specifically for the putty primer. It's got this little scoop widget. And I'm going, cool. So, you know, it just drag it through here a little bit, pick some up, smear it on, and then once I get it where I want it and everything, I just take the little brush in and smear it all over my face. I just think this is fun. I'm like, all right. Yeah, I probably put more on than I really need to. What the heck? I like the way this stuff makes my skin feel. Anyway, the palette I'm trying to get done is the um, Profusion Kaleidoscope. Which is this big thing. I know. I said I was going to stop buying big palettes, and I did it anyway. It was on sale. And I had, I had managed to build up quite a bit of discount because I got onto one of their point things. So I took their point things and turned them into my discount. So you've got this nice little buffer brush on the end. It's like a smaller version of their ultimate buffer brush. And it's 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 soft. It's got enough strength to the and pack for the bristles to spread this stuff out easily. This is the illuminating version, so yeah, it's got quite a bit of moisturizer to it and all that. But I figured if I started this now, that by the time I go to do the face part of the makeup, because I usually do my eyes first, this will all be have time to settle in. And then... No, I am not sponsored by Elf. They don't know me from Adam's house cat. But I do use a lot of Elf products, just so you know. And I'm now going to use my Elf Putty Primer for the eyes. I use white. 
because I like the way it works with my eyeshadows. And I like the way it doesn't really bunch up in all these creases I get with my hooded eyes and all the folding that goes on. It holds up to that. I don't have any real problem with it. And it settles itself down pretty quickly. I mean, you don't have to rush to get it spread. But once it's down, it's still got a slight tack to it without being, you know, just kind of watery and douchey and, and, and wet transferred. Now, so far, if you've seen my Instagram stuff, so far, I've done a green look. I've done a blue look. And I managed to keep some of the, um, some of the stills. So, I do the stills and put them on Instagram so you can see I'm actually doing something. But, hey. Anyway, recently I'm trying to not move a lot because when I put this sweater on this morning, I completely forgot that I planned to film and I just can't be arsed to change clothes right now. So it's going to make more patterns with the camera. It just, there you go. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh -huh. If they make you dizzy, I'm sorry. And so now I'm going to do something else. I'm trying to decide between the pink or gold or pink and gold. It could be pink and gold. Now, one of the things that I like about this palette is that every so often, you've got stuff in here. You can see where I really chewed up this green one. That's when I first tried to use it. I thought it was going to be just like a satin or something. It's actually a cream. And, but it's not, it's not really gooshy cream. But when you try to put a brush in it, it will get uppity. So, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do some pinks and some gold, just because. <laughs> That's called buttercup. That's pretty. Yeah. Now I had on a gold sweater the other day, that, that mustard gold sweater that I wear sometimes. And, and, and then my husband made me a BLT. And then the BLT decided to drop a chunk of tomato right here. So, yeah, I am not wearing that sweater right now. It's in the lawn. Oh, well, it's the way it goes. Let's see. I may just start with that butter even though it's really, really, really bright. Oh 
dear, I now have an expensive stick. I'm going to see if I can get through this anyway, at least for this part. Uh, I'll go ahead and change. See, this is what happens when you let too much water get in to your ferrule. Probably let it sit just a little bit too long while I was washing. And what I've got over here is a little rag because, let me tell you, I'm not the only one who has, has decided that this is a little, that the color switch sponges can be a little rough on your brushes. It's like Angie at 4F Beauty mentioned it. And I said, huh, I've got all these little nifty crocheted things that I do. You know, I like these. It's just a circle, single, um, American single stitch. And they work really, really well to take the excess color off of the brush and take, you know, take a little bit of micellar water and take your makeup off. They're very comfy. They do it really well. Yes, I'm doing circular motions in and out because if I just stick the brush on my eye and do the windshield wiper, you get wiggle. You get wiggle. Because I got crepey eyes. And at one point, I weighed pretty close to 450 pounds. I'm down to 275. No, that's not small. But it's a little healthier. Why do I know the number? Because I went to the doctor the other day. Otherwise, I don't weigh myself. But with diabetes, it's much better to try and keep your body in a better place and a better relationship Food. See, this one's not falling apart. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Next. Next. What am I going to do? Okay, there's one of the colors over here that's supposed to be like a bronzer or a blush, and it it's called Tarte. This one, right? Here. And I'm gonna use that to kind of darken the back edges of this on this side just a little. There's not really a dark, dark color in here. 
Believe it or not, this is a palette out of black. What do you think of that? I know, they're, they're, it's odd that there is no black in the palette. And I'm going, how'd that happen? Oh yeah, I guess they figured out that there was enough black in other basic palettes that they didn't really need one. I guess. And I'm going, yes, smart people. Smart people. Now, profusion is not exactly what you would call a high-end product. They are an economy product. A lot of times you can find profusion at Walmart, at drugstores. Matter of fact, they currently have a line of stuff that they just brought out exclusive to Walmart. I'm really pissed off because there is a the Walmart that's closest to me is a trip. It's at a 45 mile trip one way. So I'm a little annoyed. Bring some of that into the natural crease just a little bit for the heck of it. For the heck of it. It's starting to look kind of interesting. Now, let's see. Pink. I need some pink. And I don't want Wimpy Pink. This is a pink in this palette that's called Irreplaceable. And it's gorgeous. And it is bright. And I'm just going to stick my finger in it because this is one of those cream colors that if you try to stick a brush in it, all it does is wad up and look nasty in the pan. You can't even get it on your eye. Now, the first time I did this with greens, I had, I actually took some of my glitter glue have some elf glitter glue. I put some of the glitter glue on because I was thinking with all the shiny stuff in it, it was going to, you know, be like a dry powder with some shiny stuff in it that I was going to need to keep glued down. And no, it wasn't. It stuck really well because of the glitter glue, but it wasn't. It wasn't really necessary. And I tried it with the blues without the glitter glue. This is my elf glitter. This is fun stuff. It's got one of those tips on it that's kind of like a lipstick tip or a lip gloss tip or a lip balm tip. So you can like smear it on without having to get your fingers all dirty and covered up with, with, with glitter glue. I like it. I have a few of them that I like better, especially if it's definitely like a dry formula that is more likely to flake. Yes, I'm making faces. That's pretty standard. Making faces.
Now, I was saying, you know, Pure Fusion, not sponsored. Again, it's one of those things. They don't know me from Adam's house cat. They don't know who I am. I don't tell them who I am. Yes, I do. When I get go to put stuff on Instagram, I'll put like Profusion and, you know, tag them. A little bit of a hashtag thing. I've got another pink in here that's called Echoes, and that's the one I'm sticking up here in this area. And it, it's pretty, but it's really pale in comparison to the first one. I'm just kind of going up under the eyebrow a little bit, just because. Don't want a lot up there. Just get you know, a little something with a little glow. Still haven't decided exactly what's going into the inner color, inner, inner corner, or what I'm going to do to the under eye. But I think it's a start. Anyway. I'm going to run away for a few minutes. I'll be back. I should have some face on by then. Probably not all of it, but a chunk. Be right back. Yeah, this is most of it. <clears throat> Got some eyebrows now. Had a little dinner. Yeah, I've been gone a while. Put some magnetic lashes on. Da 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 da. Not such a big deal. Let's see. Grab me up a pencil. Yes, I know I don't do pencils often, but what the heck. Now, I took a little bit of a gold shimmer and kind of patted that in the center here. I've got kind of a bronzy pink. That's the color of the exterior, anyway. That's on the lower waterline. I took a little bit of a dark blue and went partway on the upper waterline. And the black liner that goes with the magnetic lashes. Not a big deal. I took one of my regular eyeliners, though, to do closer into the corner. Because the magnetic liner stuff, is it's just a little strange. And the brush is a little thick. Now, I've got a little bit of glitter that I've overlaid on the darker mustard out here and I kind of brought it down under just a little bit and stuck a little bit of that in the corners. Got on my blush and my bronze and a little highlight. Very little highlight. La 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 la. Now, I've got the shawl, shawl on because my husband looked at me and said, you know, your little cream and gold shawl would look really good with these colors. And it would be very nice to your audience to stop moraying their eye, eye line. Because moray pattern can actually make some people a little busy. So, yeah, Mr.'s looking out for you. Okay, now, which one am I going to do? I've got two different lip lacquers and a pink. 
And one of them is definitely closer to a magenta. But it looks a little too hot bubblegum to me. <clears throat> I think I'm going to use this one. It's called Wild Rose. Yeah, I'm liking how that looks with the pink. Maybe I'll stick just a little bit of this on there anyway, just for the heck of it. But damn. <laughs> Put it kind of like right there in the middle. Yes, those are both e.l.f. products. I've got e.l.f. finishing powder and well, the setting powder and e.l.f. bronzer and e.l.f. blush and e.l.f. highlight and it just I don't have any e.l.f. setting mist. We'll have to make do with Bolero. This one's kind of nifty. It smells like watermelon. Come on, start spritzing. La 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 la. La 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 la. even elf mascara now when i first found the skinny wand and the thick wand through aoa studios i grabbed that up real quick and i kind of liked it that it was separate because then i could use whatever i felt like on the upper lashes and I'd still have that skinny little wand for the bottom lashes. The problem with that is, though, you lose track of when the skinny one has hit the three-month mark, and you don't get as much use out of the fat one. Now, Elf came out with an upper and lower. The lower has got that little skinny wand that's easier to get into your lower lashes. And it's got a larger upper wand. So I tend to use, if I'm doing, if I'm specifically going after the skinny wand, I tend to use these in conjunction. So I'm getting the same kind of wear out of both sides for the length of time that I've got the product. Anyway, let's get this set so that you're not getting too many mores. And then we will say, what do you think? Yeah, I've even got lashes on, huh? Now with the blue look that I did, I kind of went ham with blue because somebody over on Twitter went after K-Swiss for wearing blue. Now, she had done one of her usual gorgeous eye looks. But because it was blue, the, the, this self-appointed gatekeeper 
decided to jump because we all know blue is just passe, just absolutely de passe. And, and, and nobody can wear blue anyway. And I'm like, watch me bish. Just watch. So I did a blue. Now, when I put it up for Instagram, I mentioned Cage Swiss. I haven't put that picture up on Twitter yet. It's coming because I'm going after her. It's like, just because you're afraid to wear blue, <laughs> don't start with the rest of us. Because, yeah. It's like I told somebody, we got brand new neighbors next door. It's like I told them and the people in my class, the current class that I'm in. As much as I am able, I live out loud. Absolutely out loud. There is no gatekeeper anywhere that's going to tell me I can't wear whatever colors I want to wear. That's why I come on here to remind people that just because they have some life experience, they're not done yet. And if you want to wear something loud, wear it. Just learn how to put it on so that it doesn't get all up in your wrinkles. Ah. One F trying to escape on my magnetos get back in there get back in there so there I think the uh, that particular bottle of wine was about shot oh that reminds me if you're interested in trying inexpensively trying magnetic lashes Ardell and Kiss have started carrying magnetic lashes and they're at the drugstore. Yes, magnetic lashes, Ardell and Kiss. Great stuff. Inexpensive. I think it's like five bucks for a pair and a bottle of liner. And as long as you take care of your lashes, you can wear them repeatedly. Just keep the little case thing so you can put them back on, on the magnetic strip and you're set. Got finished with my most recent, excuse me, dinner speaking back. Got finished with my most recent class, which had me building my website. I now have a website for my book. Well, books, uh, once I get them all together. Um, the book website was part of the class project. So I had to put it together. It's still on coming soon, but it is on WordPress. So... There you go. I'm trying to finish up the first book so that mid to late spring this year, and I'm saying it because that puts my deadline actually on the calendar, mid to late spring this year, I'm going to be publishing that first book. And Angie from 4F Beauty and I have been talking and we're working out having her do the reading for the audio book with that glorious voice of hers. Absolutely wonderful. And, 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 and I want to see this thing happen. Now, there may be not sure exactly how this is going to work out. I'm going to be talking to Ingram Spark 
and talking to them about doing a three version package, which is the ebook, the audio book, and a print version. Now, these things with the print version would be being shipped directly from the printer to whoever orders them. If you order it and you order the print version, if you want a signed dedication in the book, I'm looking at getting some book plates done up that I can put a personal message on and then my signature and I will ship them to you. I mean, we're talking, you know, a little piece of paper with some stick -em for the book. No, it's not the same thing as going to a bookstore, to a book signing, and getting it done right there. But at the current time, it may not happen that there's going to be that kind of a book signing anywhere, anytime soon. So I'm looking at a book plate version. That also means that if it's somebody who ain't in the U.S. and nearby, they can get one as well. So, yeah, we shall see how all this goes. In the meantime, I got an A in that class. Um, what else is going on? What else is going on? Oh, the new class I'm in, it's on linguistics. All of the changes in the language between things like the original immigration from all over the place and what was originally just called English becoming split up into American English and British English. And then with all of the people that went to Australia, the Australian English and all that. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have so many just subtle changes between all that that we can mostly understand each other, but there are some things that just don't stay connected. And once you get past the dialogues and the slang, it's still not all, we don't use the words the same way. Where the Brits tend to use the word scheme for plans of how to do something, you know, from housing to, you know, medicine, to whatever, if you say scheme in America, we start thinking that you're a crook because you're scheming to do something wrong. So it's like, they're doing a what? <coughs> Wait a minute. What? Why would they call it a scheme? I don't know. It just confuses and I know it confuses anybody who's trying to figure it out. The other thing is, is, and I've heard it described, and I can't remember from where or from whom, but they described English as one of those languages that drags other languages into dark alleys and mugs them, then rifles their pockets for usable words. I mean, think about how many other languages that we have worked into English because it was beneficial to have one word to explain something, even if it's from another, another language. 
instead of trying to use a whole phrase in English. Detente is a good one. That is a good one. How many words in standard English would you have to use to explain that concept to someone else? And one of the things I started fussing about from the get with the first discussion in this class is there are so many books now that have gone from leapt to leaped. And slept to sleep in. And my instructor wrote back and he said, just wait a couple of weeks because we're going to be going specifically to a current one that's in, in transition from dove to dived. And I'm going, It's a perfectly good past tense here. The heck? So, it's changing constantly between slang and, and God help me, don't try and figure out whose slang is what. I mean, we've got urban, we've got country, we've got the goths and the punks and the, the, the emos. And it just, I get lost. <laughs> I really do. I mean, I'm just a, an aging hippie here. Just an aging hippie with a few side tracks into punk and goth here and there. And steampunk on occasion. It's just it's very confusing. Anyway, yes, I will let you know when my book page is officially open. It shouldn't be too much longer. That one's probably going to be on open to look at by the end of the month. I'm still working on it. It's like, like the teacher said, good start. Now work on it. Put more stuff in it. Like, oh, more stuff, more stuff. Anyway, I'm going to run away now. Have a lovely time. Be good. <laughs>